Okay, hi there everybody. Here we've got another essay for CPE. Write an essay summarising and evaluating the key points from both texts. Use your own words throughout as far as possible and include your own ideas in your answers. So here's the first text. Dress and image. When professionals such as bank managers or lawyers wear formal clothes, they are often sending out a clear signal that they wish to maintain a degree of distance and detachment from those they serve. Their style of dress suggests that the atmosphere is unlikely to be light-hearted or relaxed. In fact, there is no doubt that many of us would be somewhat uncomfortable if we walked into the office of a bank manager or a lawyer who was dressed casually. Somehow formal clothes communicate the message, I am competent and you can trust me, and naturally we feel reassured by this. And the second text, the impact of dress. Many jobs involve wearing a uniform, but the authority this suggests can be intimidating to some people who may instinctively feel that they are put at a disadvantage. For some purposes, therefore, such as when police have to deal with particularly vulnerable people, informal clothes may be more appropriate. Of course, there are some important public occasions, such as coronations and state funerals, for which the wearing of elaborate formal dress is an integral part of the ceremony. It might be deemed disrespectful if this crucial custom were not observed. And now we have the essay. This essay was written by Roland Simon. So, Dress has always played a fundamental role in the course of history. However, outfits can be deceptive. An outward appearance is not the mirror of our true personality. That's a really good first paragraph. Although many pl people claim that you are what you wear, appearance can be misleading. Many of us make assumptions about people based on how they dress, and this behaviour is prevalent in every layer of our society. Outward appearance belies, I love that word, to belie, um, people's real character. Take an average introvert, for example, who has poor sartorial taste. Take an average introvert who has poor um has poor sartorial taste, comma, has poor, so I think we need to do this in a different way, um, be, so capital letters, behind this So, I think yes, I'm going to do this in a different way. So I'm going to say an erudite mind might be hidden behind this facade. Okay. So, yeah, an impeccable looking politician may be a wolf in sheep's clothing. Some politicians develop a smooth manner to leverage people's sympathy to vote for them. That's why I subscribe to the meaning of the old saying, try this one, old adage, it's just a better word, you should never, that's why I subscribe to the meaning of the old adage, um, yeah, I guess to the meaning of, I'm, 
I, I might I think I might just say I'm mm, that's why I subscribe I subscribe to the old adage it's just the extra doesn't add anything and it's more words that's why I subscribe to the old adage you should never judge a book by its cover an obtrusive animal can be e can be easy prey uncountable for predators in the wilderness therefore the constant therefore therefore um therefore this constant threat um renders species to employ no i think this constant threat um renders them v uh, vulnerable um this constant threat um pushes um drives i'm going to go for drives i'm sure there's a better word there though species to employ um a wide variety of camouflage tactics how you've got your facade here a fl flamboyant facade of animals yeah, can lure opposite sexes how many opposite sexes are there can lure the opposite sex into their territory wait a second so um a, fl a, a flamboyant facade uh i'm going to change it i think if animals have a flamboyant facade it can lure the opposite sex into their territory clothes were merely intended to survive the extreme weather conditions of our primeval era <coughs> our attitudes towards dressing have been undergoing massive changes where language falls short clothes might speak the cambodian traditional dress uh, i would say uh, traditional dress traditional costume they normally use the word costume the sampot symbolizes this unique country seeing cambodian people wearing a sampot at special events begs the question why do a lot of developed countries fail to maintain their old old traditions um oh, i think i want a, a question mark here when the angry yellow vest protesters we call that are in english we call them the yellow jackets the yellow jacket when when the ye when the yellow jacket protesters inundated the french streets this highly high visibility this high visibility garment became synonymous with modern rebellion and a teenager is intrigued to follow the le is intrigued so let me try this sentence a teenager is intrigued to follow the latest fashion and yield the influence form media okay so uh, um so is intrigued by
and wants to follow the latest fashion and yield to media influence. Okay, and that reads much better. Their seemingly outrageous appearance and manner definitely ruffle. A raffle is where you sell uh, tickets um, and people can win a prize. Ruffle elderly people's feathers. They're seemingly outrageous and um, definitely rather a uh, ruffle elderly people's feathers. Semicolon. They were brought up in a different epoch. These days, teachers are more lenient about the clothes students should wear on the certain extent. I'm more lenient about the clothes students should wear to a certain extent. In the bygone era, which one? I would say in bygone eras, dress code was part and parcel of strict school principles. I would say strict school rules. The first impression is one of the f so the first impression is one of the factors that comes into play when we are being assessed at a job interview. Furthermore, when a policeman is on duty, his uniform symbolizes that he is the embodiment of authority. If you wore inappropriate clothes, whoops if you wore inappropriate clothes at a funeral it would definitely raise a few eyebrows if a lawyer arrived poorly dressed at a prestigious trial he would be out of place when representing a high-profile case. Um, yeah, when represent, representing would do. When representing, when acting in, that's better, a high-profile case. In conclusion, I feel that dressing, I think we need to use the word dress, has an integral part. It, has an integral part, is an integral part, has an integral role in our society. We ought not to judge others based on how they look. However, appearance can give us a moral compass in our lives. And that's it. Um, okay, so you've, do you, you've done what they asked you to do very nicely. Um, I, I would say I'm going to give you 4.54 out of 5 for do, doing what you've been told to do, answering the question. How well does it read? To begin with, this was really, it read really, really, really well. It got a little bit more, more difficult as we went, as it went on, but it was sti it still reads very well i think i'm probably going to give you 4.25 out of 5 for that um the vocabulary as always the vocabulary is fantastic there're lots there's lots and lots and lots of good vocabulary here i think 4.5 maybe even a 5 for the vocabulary um Grammar structures used, yes, it's okay. One or two th times I, I, I find you, you tend to jump from one 
are subject to another and th there's no easy link that goes through um i, I think you you need need to try and find some more linkers to it um i think grammar structures four uh, and let's see accuracy when 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 i started with this and we started to go down for the uh, at the beginning i thought my god this is fantastic there are no mistakes it reads beautifully but then we started to get into more difficulty um i think i'm probably going to give you something like uh four for overall grammatical accuracy but this is a very good essay i love the um the, the the way it reads i've got to give it at least 8.5 at c2 yeah um i i want to give it more because it's a really nice essay but there are one or two little bits that don't read so well this is a very good effort though yeah um this should get you an a grade at cpe so very well done